Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. And a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon for your contributions to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the screw home mechanism of the knee. So to really understand this, let's consider open chain knee extension. So an example of that would be something like the knee extension machine you've seen at the gym, where the knee actually starts out with the tibia down here, more or less perpendicular to the ground, and then the person extends the knee and pushes up this platform, right? So the knee goes to more or less full straightening. The knee extension machine is basically just the long arc quad exercise. Now there's some other information here that we'll go over in a future video on convex concave rules of the knee joint. We're going to skip that for now, but the main thing that I want to focus on here is the mobile bone. Okay? In an open chain knee extension like this where the tibia begins more or less perpendicular to the ground and you kick it up like this to more or less parallel to the ground, the tibia is the mobile bone. Femur is static because the femur, via the thigh, is really just planted on the seat. It doesn't move. The tibia is obviously what moves. Okay? If we do this in closed chain, which we'll look at in a few minutes, the tibia is going to be the static bone and the femur is going to move relative to the tibia. So it's important to consider whether or not the movement or the exercise is open or closed chain. Now let's introduce the screw home mechanism. So before, when we talked about the knee, we really just talked about the flexion extension functions. So those are movements in the sagittal plane, and that's an oversimplification of the knee joint. The knee, however, is not a hinge joint. It doesn't just move in one plane. It's actually a modified condyloid joint, so it actually moves in two planes. The one that's obvious is flexion and extension, the sagittal plane. However, there's also movements in the transverse plane. So there's rotation, both external rotation, which you actually see right here, and internal rotation. When we think about the tibia rotating relative to the femur, which is what occurs in open chain, we can think about this landmark right here, which is the tibial tuberosity. So when the tibial tuberosity gets angled more outward or laterally, that would be tibial external rotation. If that tibial tuberosity gets angled more inward, sort of toward the other leg, that would be internal rotation of the tibia relative to the femur. So it turns out that with near terminal extension, so probably the last 10 or 15 degrees of knee extension, the tibia is also going to externally rotate when this is done in the open chain. So in open chain, near terminal knee extension, you're also going to see tibial external rotation. Okay? Now, why does the tibia externally rotate? Well, it does so for a few reasons that you can see here. One is simply the shape of this medial femoral condyle. Okay? The shape of the medial femoral condyle, as uh, the tibia moves relative to it, kind of forces it to externally rotate. Also, there's tension in this. This should be anterior cruciate ligament. So tension in the ACL actually also causes uh, some external rotation of the tibia. And then there's also some lateral pull of the quadricep muscles. Remember, the quadriceps are up here. The patella would normally be right here. And the quadriceps attach on the patella via the quad tendon. And then via the patellar ligament, uh, the patella attaches on the tibial tuberosity. So they're all interconnected through that knee extensor mechanism. And so the quadriceps pull near full knee extension is actually a little bit laterally in addition to uh, proximally. Okay? And so all those factors combined are going to cause a little bit of external rotation of the tibia relative to the femur. And that is the screw home mechanism. So in reality, if you're doing a knee extension mobilization, just taking somebody through passive knee extension, when you get to near full knee extension, if you want to get to full knee extension, you actually should induce a little bit of external rotation of the tibia as you go toward maximum knee extension. Okay? So it's not just a simple hinge. There is some rotation there. Now, the screw home mechanism is a little bit different when the knee extension is performed in closed chain. So as opposed to this open chain exercise, the knee extension machine, we could also have a squat. Okay? So right here you see the person in the down phase of the squat, but the closed chain knee extension would be when they push back up to standing. Okay? So right now this person's knees are bent, they're flexed, 
So in order to stand back up, the knees would obviously have to extend. So it's the up phase of a squat. Okay? Now in that, the tibia does technically move, but the bone where there's the vast majority of the movement is actually going to be the femur. So in closed chain, it's reversed. Now the femur is the mobile bone, and the tibia, more or less, is static. Okay? So the tibia is no longer going to externally rotate relative to the femur. The femur is now internally rotated relative to the tibia. So this is exactly the same movement except for which bone is mobile and which one is static. So we still have a screw home mechanism in closed chain, it's just now that the femur is going to internally rotate relative to the tibia. And again, that's going to occur when she pushes up uh, near full knee extension. So right when she's almost at the top of the squat, back to the original position. Okay? So that is the screw home mechanism. The screw home mechanism basically describes the rotational events of the tibia or the femur, depending, near full knee extension. So bottom line, if you're in open chain, near full knee extension toward full extension, you're going to have the tibia rotate externally relative to the femur. If you're in closed chain, near full knee extension to full knee extension, you'll have the femur rotate internally relative to the tibia. So hopefully this video gave you some good information on the screw home mechanism. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.